Bryce Harper uh, was the starting first baseman for the National League this year. His first year as a first baseman, he was a right fielder his whole career, ends up having Tommy John, some injuries, some other little things. Switches the first base and is starting the all-star game. I know they're starting is, is a popularity contest, but it's not really full popularity contest when you're out there just doing it. James, um, is Bryce Harper the best first baseman in Major League Baseball today? Right this second, I would take him over Ooh. anybody. The only guy that would come close as a first baseman to me would be Freddie Freeman. But if I have to take somebody for the next three years, a first baseman, I'm taking Harper. Next three years. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. Bryce Harper, you want to look at some of these? Bryce Harper has half the war, by the way, of Mike, of Mike Trout. Half. Bryce Harper has to double his career yeah, right now. And, and he can't like compare. like, And they haven't been in the league much different. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's crazy to think about that. Like 2012 was uh, Bryce Harper's first year, and uh, 2011 was Mike Trout's. But it's really 2012. He's doubled him, doubled him in WAR. Uh, that I, I just saw that. So that's uh, I've almost doubled him. Almost doubled. Which him. is amazing. Which is. Which is amazing if you think about it, because there's a very good chance that Bryce Harper is going to end up being a Hall of Famer. So there's a guy who's going to be a Hall of Famer, and his his competitor doubled his doubled war. Doubled his war. Almost doubled. Again, almost doubled. 86 to uh, 49, which is just absolutely insane. But Bryce Harper, as we're sitting here, I mean, the, the dude's already got you know over 20 home runs, over almost approaching 30 home runs, uh, 270 average, 270-ish. Um, you bring up a great point, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman, to me, is, is kind of like the face of uh, first baseman right now. Um, he's been so good for mm -hmm. so long, I think it becomes boring a little bit. I'm going to throw some other names out there, okay? Matt Olson. Good, not, not as, as good, as, good as, Harper. as Harper. I would actually agree with you. I think Harper overall has more skills and has been more consistent. And we're seeing that at Matt, Har uh, Matt Olson this year, where Bryce Harper's playing better baseball than him. But again, I think Matt Olson has the upside, the same upside as Harper, except for he's just not as consistent, right? We're already talking about Freddie Freeman, and then we're going to go to another guy out in New York, Pete Alonzo. Nope, not even close. Don't to forget, Harper. the dude's going to hit forty this year. I understand that, but he's here's the crazy thing. Pete Alonso has been playing first base for a lot longer, and Bryce Harper is a much better defensive first baseman. Uh, would you take uh, Bryce Harper offensively? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I think he's going to hurt you more. Pete is home run or nothing. Bryce Harper can hit a double. Uh, Bryce Harper can steal a base if he wants to. For me, there is no question I'm going to take Bryce Harper over Pete Alonso every day, and I'm a Met fan. So you're going to take Harper... Over your boy, over your Met. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling inside. But again, I get it. I think Alonzo has more, a lot more holes than than um, Harper. And I think Harper brings more energy, brings more excitement to the team. But but I'll say this, uh, Alonzo's a Met. I love him. I love him as a Met. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, God, not even close. I would take Harper. Guerrero has had one two, good year. Two good years. Right now, he's, this year is, is arguably better than Harper's as it is. Okay, but the year's not over. So in the, his track record, he's only had one good year. I'll give you that. And a lot of down years, a lot of years where you're sitting there going, when is it going to happen? But again, Harper had some of those too, uh, without a doubt. After his rookie year, he had a couple of years where, where it was definitely down. Um, and then he's come back and become a lot more solid sure. player, more consistent. Paul Goldie, Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt, as much as I love him, is at the end of his career. I don't think he's ever going to be a great player any, uh, again. I think he's a very good player. I don't think there was ever a time where Goldschmidt was going to reach the heights at his peak that Bryce Harper can reach at his peak. I think I'd uh, argue very strongly against that. I think there are times where he's had better numbers overall, where he was incredibly one of the most impactful baseball players in the game. Uh, just like Harper, I think Harper had a lot more prestige around him and a lot more noticeability because he wasn't in an Arizona Diamondback. Uh, but if you look back at the numbers, I think it'd be very hard to disagree with some of the things that Bryce, that uh, that Goldschmidt has done. And you can't argue with it uh, with some of the numbers. Uh, at the same time, I think Harper just gets a little bit more noticeability because the impact in the position and, and what he is. But um, Goldschmidt has been a centerpiece of a lot of lineups that are some of the best He's had some of the best years in baseball during his seasons. Uh, at the same time, I think right now, without a doubt, it's still Harper. Uh, but I think there were times where Goldschmidt was 
He was the cream of the crop. The guy I love, Christian Walker. Who? Oh, save it. <laughs> Christian Walker, good, but good. he's not Bryce Harper. But again, no. I'm a huge Bryce Harper fanboy. You know, let, let's you call it what it is. I'm not. I'm not going to deny that. And even as a Met fan, I love Bryce Harper because of what he does for the game, the exuberance, the way he wants to promote the game, especially early in his career where he came in. He's like, you know what? I'm just going to show off and I'm going to make this game great again. So I, I can't think of anybody that you're going to say in all of baseball other than Freeman that can compare to him at first base. I'll give you that. There's some other de decent, decent players, some interesting names that, you know, a guy like Nathaniel Lowe. You know, some interesting guys. Uh, you know, I, I, there was a time where Jose Abreu was right up there with being incredibly talented. I mean, MVP guy. Um, but has <laughs> fallen off faster than I've seen, I think, anybody in my entire life fall off, especially in an in a opportunity like he had in, the, in uh, Houston. Uh, I don't know where that came from. But, yeah, I'll give you that. I'll give you – I'll. I'll I will – Arguably one of the best uh, first baseman, if not the best. Freddie Freeman, I'm still probably put my money on him as a better first baseman. But Bryce Harper, congratulations, dude. You had stepped your game up, and you have shown me something that, brother, I was not prepared for. 